when you see a mewing before and after photo that is so incredible that it looks photoshopped, either it is photoshopped, or they've been hard mewing. I'm Matt Phelps and I'm here to help you get the best jawline genetically possible using mewing, chewing, and slimming. Slimming means weight loss, it's just that it rhymes a little bit better than mewing, chewing, and losing weight. Do all three and I guarantee you, right hand to Gandalf, you will get a sharper jawline and more attractive face. Mewing is the most complicated of the three and it does take the longest time. There is something you can do called hard mewing that can accelerate your results. Hard mewing may, mel may well be very effective. And of course it is possible to cheat the system. We know that. And this could be a good cheat. Hard mewing is an unexplored area, just like all of mewing. But make sure you pay attention to the details in this video because hard mewing can go wrong. So. What is the difference between hard mewing and soft mewing? As you probably know, regular mewing is where you have your tongue up against your palate using a mixture of suction and pressure. Now, hard mewing is when you start to use more pressure. Press your tongue up against the palate with more force and pressure than seems natural. And as we know from regular mewing, the tongue sweep swallow puts a huge amount of pressure up against the palate. And in hard mewing, we try to do that a little bit more frequently. It kind of happens naturally because hard mewing probably produces more saliva anyway. How do you do? hard mewing. It's really simple, but it's basically this. If you have the correct mewing tongue posture and you use more force and press your tongue up against the palate, there's nothing too magical about it, but the problem is no one actually does it correctly. It's the same with the regular mewing tongue posture. People aren't doing that correctly, so then they can't hard mew correctly. If you're a mewing beginner, go back and watch this video and keep at that for another four to eight weeks before you even think about doing hard mewing. You need to make sure all the other steps are being done perfectly with good back posture and your tongue up against the palate, including the back of the tongue, in a nice symmetrical fashion in your mouth. Here are the most common hard mewing mistakes. When you're forcing your tongue up there, you're just forcing your tongue. You're not using all your face muscles mm, mm, mm. to do it. They should all just be relaxed, very natural position, and your tongue is doing all the work. It's not about forcing your mouth together. Mistake number two, that is when people are forcing the tip of their tongue up against their palate. Mm. Remember, it's still mewing. It's still regular mewing just with more posture. And regular mewing is the back of the tongue up. If you're just pushing the tip of your tongue up, oh, that could be really bad. That could help move your teeth apart and do some pretty nasty things. So make sure you're doing regular mewing correctly and make sure you're pushing the back of the tongue up against the palate. If you don't have the back up there, it's not gonna help. Mistake number three is pushing so hard that you push your mouth apart. Mm. Remember, it's still mewing, so you have to have your mouth together, your teeth pretty close, and your tongue pressing up against the palate, but not pushing your mouth apart. Make sure your teeth are still almost closed or closed. Mistake number four, some people do the opposite, where they're pushing their teeth down together, and, mm, like they're biting down really hard and clamping their mouth together and pushing their tongue up there at the same time. I'm sorry to repeat, but it's the pressure of the tongue up against the palate that you want. Now, who should do hard mewing? Hard mewing carries some serious risks. It could make your face asymmetrical, where one side is bigger than the other, turned in one direction. If you're pressing more on one side and you're forcing it unnaturally, just, just by applying more force, your technique is going to break down. If you're pressing too hard with the tip of your tongue and not the back of your tongue, that can make your front teeth spread further apart. But if you have been mewing for a few months, two, three, four, five, six months, and you are sure that you have the correct mewing tongue posture, that you are getting the back of your tongue up against the palate, and you're very comfortable with it, and you're able to do it throughout most of the day, then you are the perfect person to try hard mewing. I'm not recommending it, but that's what I did. I, it took me months to be able to get the right posture, and when I could, and I was sure I could, and it was comfortable for me, that's when I started to do hard mewing. But if you're a mewing beginner, you've spent your whole life doing one thing, breathing a certain way with a certain tongue posture, and now you're trying to change it with mewing, and then you're really gonna change it with hard mewing, are you really gonna put that much pressure on your body and yourself without even knowing if this is gonna pay off? Don't recommend hard mewing to anyone that hasn't been mewing for at least three to six months. That's because it takes a long time to get the correct mewing tongue posture, and you need that in order to hard mew without messing up your face. But now I've given you the tools to try it out if you're ready. Okay, man, but how do I know if I have the correct mewing tongue posture? Well, that's why I made this video. So click on that and I'll show you. 